Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 924. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to see how to calculate percentage change on running total months 2012 compared to 2011. So up here, we have 2011 and all the months. So here's the revenues we had for each month. So we need a running total formula here. Then we want to do the same thing down here, but this is 2012, a running total formula. And then a formula that compares for any given running total. What is the percentage change for right now? January through March is going to be the total right there in 2012. And we're going to compare it to 2011 and get a percentage change. Now when you are doing running total formulas, there's two good ways to do this. The first way is to simply, for the first month, just say, hey, that formula there, I'm going to look up and get the January tab. And then make a second different formula that says equals, look to the previous month, which is one cell to my left, plus one cell above whatever we got this month. All right, And you copy it over. This has two separate formulas. Now this one's, well, OK, so let's do that. We see we, uh, we get to the end and we have. Uh, our formula working, whatever the running total is from before, plus this month. There's an alternative to that. Whereas this has two different formulas, this one will involve just one that we can copy over. I'm going to use the sum function. I'm going to say, hey, give me B5, shift colon, close parentheses. Now I'm going to put my cursor and I'm going to lock one of the cell references, but not the other. I'm going to hit the F4 key, lock that B5. Now, this is locked, but that B5 is not. So as we move the formula this way, that range will expand. Control Enter, and then drag it over. And so we'll get the exact same result. Now, notice, what does it do here? One blue cell, ah, it's two, because that one's locked down, this one's not. So the C is allowing to change to D. Uh, now n to e, etc. Now there's, uh, I like there's advantage to this one in that it's one formula copy over, right? The disadvantage to this one is there's two. However, if you have large spreadsheets, notice this is always only calculating off two cells. So sometimes you get a if you have a large spreadsheet with lots of expandable ranges, the calculating time can slow down, right? But for a small worksheet, I like this. So I'm going to come down here and do the same thing equals sum, shift colon, close parentheses, and then lock that front one. Now, you can just lock the column reference, because that's the only thing changing here. But either one will work fine here. Control Enter, and copy it over. When we get to the end, we can see it is expanding all the way. So we have our two running totals. Now, percentage change, so at any month right here, I need to know that this is a percentage change down. So then we're comparing here. This is the later 2012 running total for January and February. I need to compare that to the running total for January and February for 2011. It looks like there's a percentage increase. No problem, percentage increase formula, the fastest, easiest way to do it. You take the later amount, or the end amount, divided by the beginning. Those are relative cell references. That will give you 1 plus the percentage change. Now, the percentage change in this case is down 9%. So we simply subtract 1. All right. I'm going to add a number format. I could go up to the drop down, and there's percentage with two decimals. Or you can control 1. Pick your percentage. By default, there's a 2. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to copy this over. All right, and so there is a percentage change formula comparing running totals from one year to the next. All right, we'll see you next video.